Okay, this is going to be part two to my getting fired from work story time. So, it's been a month since I got fired and a lot has happened since then. So, let's get into it. And I'm also going to be doing my makeup as I do a voiceover. So, it's going to start when me and the three four other people that got fired we we wanted to know who um, like snitched or told all the lies so we all made a group chat with each other and we were just texting in it basically seeing if any of us knew anything like if we knew who would tell but we we kind of had an idea like i said in the last story snitch we kind of had a like an idea that it was her but we just didn't have proof it was her so we basically didn't do anything for a couple of days and then me and red was basically like we want our jobs back like we did nothing wrong so we should go over his head and that's what we did we went to the big boss and we basically told him everything that was going on in the store and yeah we basically turned into the snitches <clears throat> but anyway we didn't do anything so we got fired for no reason and we told him everything that was happening and he was like he didn't even know we were fired and I was like so Chandler just didn't tell you he was firing three of your managers for no reason. And he was like, basically, yeah. So he was like, tomorrow he's going to handle it and see what he can do about our jobs. And during, I think it was the same day or the day before that, I called corporate and basically told him that somebody was like, doing drugs outside and that we that it scared me and they need to be fired because he the person that was actually the people that were actually doing what we got fired for were still there and which I thought was weird so I was also trying to get them fired because why did I get fired if I didn't do anything and they actually did it and they were still working there. It's because he didn't like us. And I found that out later. So then um, the next day comes and he basically told us to wait until 11 and that he would talk to Chandler. And then 11 o'clock came the next day and he hasn't like texted us or anything. But I wasn't too worried. And then 3 o'clock came and... I was like, okay. Then he finally texted us and was like, I didn't forget about y'all. Um, just waiting to talk to the other store's manager. Like, not how I'm going to explain this. Okay, there was another store that's not too far from the store that I worked at. And she was a GM. She was just like Larry. But she worked at the other store. And he wanted to also talk about her. So in the back of my head, I was like, yeah, he want us to go to that store instead of coming back to the store we got fired at. And it's only because I think the big boss didn't want any more drama. But he especially didn't want drama with us because we were already talking about going over, over his head also to, like, the big, big people. Like, the people that runs like all the stores and he didn't want that to happen because he knew he would got in trouble also so he was like i'll handle it i'll handle it and then when he told us um he was like i gotta talk to her so i'm i'm gonna um keep you updated for tomorrow and i was like okay but I still wanted to know what was going in, like, happening in the store. And I knew this one girl, and I knew she would tell me everything. And she basically, I called her and was like, so, um, what's happening in the store? And she, like, told me everything. 
and in my head I knew if we didn't get go back to the store the store was going to go down like like the store was going to be horrible because you fired three four good workers and you expect the people in the store the people that's actually doing drugs and drinking alcohol to keep it up no so And then a few days pass, and um, I still, we still didn't hear back from the big boss, and we were confused, like, now you're acting weird. And then I basically, I tell my cousin what was happening, and then she basically went off on me, because she said the big boss texted her, was telling her that we were throwing her under the bus, which was not true. Uh, we didn't even talk about her, and when we were doing this and then I basically was like that is so weird and then she was like yeah that is weird I don't think y'all would do that anyway but that made me feel some type of way also because you did believe in the beginning because you wouldn't have came at me like that if you didn't but then we got over it and then the big boss finally text read back and told her that she can go to the other store and that um, she can work there. And I was, and then she came back and told me and basically I was like, okay, so am I going to that store? Like I was okay going to that store because it's literally right there. Like it's not that far, it's like 15 minutes from my house. And the store I worked at originally was 10 minutes. And then I texted him, I basically was like, um, I need answers now. Like, I need a job. I need to pay this for school. I need this. I need that. I need you to let me know if I'm getting my job back. And then he was like, um, I could put you at another store. Like, and the store is like 25 minutes away from my house. And then he was like, I don't know where you live, but you can go there. I'm like, you know what? It's fine. I'm, I, I'm not going back. I can't go that far and that was Chandler's original store before he got to our store and the big boss was like well if I can help you with anything just let me know and I will and I was like nah it's straight I don't really need you because why are you trying to split us up if we didn't do anything wrong and you said yourself you don't think we did anything wrong but I don't know. And then, um, I got it. Well, I, during that time, I did get a new job anyway. And I just started working there. And it was cool. I, I'm just not getting as many hours as I need. So, that's good. And then after that, I kind of, like, just stopped even thinking about the story. Like, it was over. It, it was, like, over a month ago. And I was like, um, I'm just going to leave everything alone. I'm not trying to get the job back. And then, like, a couple of days ago, somehow we got brought back into drama. Even when we're not there, how are we still, like, the topic of discussion? So my cousin sent in the group chat basically saying that um her aunt went up there and it was not for her it was for another girl that got fired for no reason and one of the girls that still worked there um went outside and told my cousin's aunt that the reason she got fired was because of drugs and alcohol and then my the her aunt was like who the cousin and her aunt basically said, this has nothing to do with cousin. This has to do with my daughter, Cece. Why did she get fired? And the um girl that worked there was like, um, I'm about to go get Chandler. And that's what she do. She walks inside and get Chandler. And Chandler walks out and was like, everybody on night shift got fired because they were getting sloppy and stuff weren't being done but that's not true because if you um you only fired four of us and there was like 10 people on night shift and there you go making up another lie 
at first it was drugs and alcohol, but now it's because we weren't doing our jobs. So that was weird. And a couple, not a couple of days, the day before this, I found out about all this. I was getting a bunch of texts and texts were like, oh, do you know what happened last night? Do you know what happened last night? I was like, no, I don't work there. So why would I know what happened? And they were like, oh, it's basically someone came up here and we're talking about y'all. And it turned into um, everybody talking about y'all. And I was like, why are our names still in your mouth? And we haven't even worked there for like a month and a half now. Like, why are y'all still bringing up people that were fired? That is so weird. And one of the people that was telling me basically was like, yeah, that is weird. Like, everybody is just like weird now like everybody's keeping to their self and then he was basically like do you know who got y'all fired and I was like no but I have an idea who did he was like I know who and I was like well tell me and then he was like no I don't want like to get anyone in trouble or anything I was like you already told me so like just go ahead and tell me who said it he basically was like it was snitch and in the back of my head I knew it was snitch but I didn't have like proof that it was her so I couldn't really be like I know for a fact it was her but now I do and she's weird because why are you making up all these lies and now I know why because she eventually became a manager and now she's working our jobs and she got three people fired so she can have a position but that's all I have to say about this story I am now officially over it and I hope they just stop talking about me now let's get into the makeup I was almost finished right here